are going to be celebrating Earth Day on Wednesday, April 22nd. And in honor of that, we are going to be doing some art projects that use objects from nature and also that use recyclables that would normally be thrown away. And we're going to transform them into art projects. But before we get started, I want us to talk about what is Earth Day and why do we celebrate it? So boys and girls, we are given one planet and it's our job as people to take care of it and make sure that we are being good stewards of what we've been given. And sadly today, there's a lot of problems with our earth. Trash ends up going into the ocean and harming the wildlife and there's pollution and lots of other issues. So I want to talk to you today about the three R's of what we can be doing together to help our planet. So the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Now let's talk about all these words and some examples of ways that we can do our part. The first word is reduce. Reduce means to use less of. So let's talk about some ways that we can use less um, trash and create less waste. One simple way is getting a reusable water bottle that you fill up throughout the day and that cuts down on the plastic water bottles that you're consuming. Some other ways is you can get reusable bags to take to the grocery store. That's going to cut down on plastic and paper. You can also conserve energy by turning off lights when you're not in a room. You can use less water when you're brushing your teeth or washing the dishes. Those are just some simple ways that we can uh, reduce. Our second word is reuse. Now, reuse means that you are taking something that would normally be thrown away and you are repurposing it for something else. So our art projects this week are going to be reusing things that would normally go in the trash. So some things I want you to start saving so that you can be ready for our art projects this week are things like paper towel rolls, uh, straws and plastic cups, uh, cardboard, such as cereal boxes, drink boxes, uh, newspapers, magazines, if you have like bubble wrap or tissue paper, just start saving those things that uh, normally would go in the trash or the recycling and we are going to repurpose them and reuse them into art projects. And the third and final R is recycle. Now, this is a great way that we can work together to keep a lot of this stuff out of landfills and making new things. So things that you can recycle are paper, plastic, glass, and aluminum. And you want to check with your city on what recyclables they allow. I know my husband and I live in Dallas, and we actually have a separate blue recycling bin that we can put our recyclables in, and it separates it from the trash. So inside of our house... We have a second trash can that we just put our recyclables in and that way it makes it easy for us to then put that into the blue recycling bin when it's trash day. And when it comes to recycling, it's really important that you look for this symbol. So this symbol, when you see it on the bottom of a plastic bottle or a aluminum can, that's going to let you know that it can go in the recycling. So boys and girls, in honor of Earth Week, let's start thinking about ways that you can pledge to reduce, reuse, and recycle. All right, boys and girls, now that we just learned about Earth Day and why we celebrate it, I'm going to read this book, The Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean by Deborah Deason and pictures by Dan Hanna. Now, before I read, I have some questions that I want you to be thinking about as I'm reading. One, I want you to think about what is the problem in the book? And then two, how do the characters in the book find a solution to the problem? So think about problem and solution as I start reading. The Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean. The ocean is amazing, Mr. Fish Mr. Fish's grin was wide. The beautiful surroundings left him wonderstruck inside. 
His head was full of happy and his heart was full of awe, but his smile sank away when he turned around and saw a big, big mess. Whatever could it be? But he couldn't really tell, so he talked with a friend who had noticed it as well. There's a problem that needs solving, and I don't know what to do, but I'm going to find some answers. Would you like to join me too? Absolutely, said Miss Shimmer, as she grabbed a few supplies. They'd travel to the mystery mess and see with their own eyes. Swimming off, they were enchanted by the ocean big and bright, but looming in the distance was that dark, dismal sight. A big, big mess. What's it made of, they both wondered, and they pondered this out loud. Around them, others gathered in a small but growing crowd. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do but we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? Count us in, said Mr. Seahorse, and he powered up his rig. Enthusiasm bubbled. Yes, the group was getting big. They jetted through the ocean in a peaceful sort of bliss, but the thing that stretched before them was impossible to miss. A big, big mess. Who will fix it? Fish were asking, hoping someone else would know. There was lots of conversation as they traveled with the flow. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do. But we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? All is one, said Mrs. Squid as she swished away some junk. The group continued forward toward the nearing pile of gunk. They reached the mystery mess. They took measurements and samples. They made notes and they did research. They found similar examples. When everyone was finished, they assembled to discuss. They came to one conclusion. The problem is us. We made the big, big mess. They froze in disbelief. Then they began to shout feeling troubled and uneasy, and some began to pout. Were they stuck with this forever? Would it worsen? Would it grow? Mr. Fish was worried too, but there's one thing that I know. It's awful that we caused it, but this bad news can be good, for it means that we can solve it if we all agree we should. Silence filled the ocean. Their future was at stake. It was a moment of decision, but which one would they make? A big, big yes. We can do it, they exclaimed positively, yes and yep. So they all pitched in together and they cleaned the ocean up. They gathered up the garbage with the help of everyone. They worked to fix and remedy the damage that they'd done. Then they talked about new habits, how to travel with less trace and reduce their use of plastic and put trash into its place. Problems have solutions, so we learn what we can do. Together, we're the answer. Would you like to join us too? The end. Wow, I love that book, boys and girls. And I asked you before we started reading to think about what was the problem and what was the solution. So I think one of the problems was that the fish saw this huge, huge mess in the ocean and they didn't like it. It ruined the beautiful um, habitat that they were living in. And when they finally figured out what caused it, they realized that they had actually caused it by all of their trash. And the solution that they decided was, even though that we caused it, we can do something to fix it. And so they started cleaning up the ocean. So in honor of Earth Day, I want you all to start thinking about ways that you can reduce, reuse, and recycle. I know one way that um, I'm going to pledge to reduce is to, uh, whenever I'm brushing my teeth, to 
turn off the water instead of letting it run. That's going to reduce uh, some water. And also um, try and use less trash by using um, less plastic. When I go to a restaurant, bringing my own cup. So I want you to pledge a way that you're going to either reduce, reuse, and recycle.